Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, we have another two-part puzzle. One part is to determine how this position came about in a regular chess game. If you look at first glance here, the king is blocking off black's escape squares and the bishop is cutting through a7 and the pawns are stalemated. How can this happen in a game? That's the first question. So we know that it can happen because I'm asking you how. The second question is how can you find checkmate in four? What is the checkmate in four from this position only? It's only in this tiny little four by four box right here, but it is a complicated puzzle nonetheless. Okay, I think the first thing I should do before I even show the solution is to encourage you to subscribe if you have not yet already. We recently crossed 4,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. It's amazing. And hopefully we keep growing, keep giving to charity as well. Okay, let's talk about how this position came about. I'm going to put the proof game at the end of the video if you want to see how I came up with it. I just moved pieces around for a while until I figured it out. But the basic idea is you need to take B takes C6 as a last move. And the way to do that is to pretty much have a lot of firepower aimed at c6. The way that I did it, I'll just show the last couple moves of the proof game, was I took all the pieces off the board. I left a white pawn on c6 so that a knight can capture, and then my knight can capture, and then their pawn can capture, leading to the position in the puzzle. It takes a lot of doing because you have to run the king all the way around and once you know the king runs around here here it takes a lot and then you have to worry about the bishop and then you have to worry about how to stalemate how to not stalemate the black king how many pieces do you need you got to account for these captures assuming that this one would capture here and maybe something on the e-file would capture so take a look at my proof game it's a lot of fun i am sure you could do it faster i did it in what 50 moves to this position so i think you can try to do it faster but now, let's get to the main event of the evening, the puzzle. How do you checkmate in four moves from this position? So, let's just state the obvious to start with. If I push this pawn and make a queen, that is a draw. We don't want to do that, right? So, what do we do? Well, you might think, okay, what if I promote to a knight? And that would be good. But, that is not checkmate in four. This will be checkmate in five, and I can show how. Right, knight e7, king a8. It looks a little scary, but it's not too bad. Here, what is that doing? That's forcing this capture, d7, and after this move, you can promote to a rook if you want, make it even nicer. So that's checkmate in five, but that wasn't the challenge. Checkmate in five is easier to see because it's all forcing moves. What about checkmate in four? Can you find it from this position? Okay. So it's got to be some promotion, right? You have to ask yourself that. So if you promote to a rook, same idea. This is stalemate. This bishop is cutting this square. How do I make it work? I don't because the king is blocking off the rest. I just showed the knight, which means it has to be a bishop. And then after king takes b8, what do you do as white? You have a couple of moves in this position. You could play a6, you could play bishop takes d7, you could, pay, you could play a bishop a6, but there's only one fastest, which is a6. And now the black king is in a bit of a dilemma here. Do they go to a8 and try to hope for stalemate, or do they take the bishop on c8? If it were me in this position, I would play king a8 all day. I just want to stay in this corner and see if I can get stalemated. And, you know, it's possible if you're not careful. So if, just in this case, they play king a8, very calm. Bishop b7 check, the king moves over, and that is going to be a nice checkmate. This pawn's covering, that's covering, and this bishop holding these two down. Not too bad. Okay, so they can't go to the corner. What if instead they take your bishop? Is this going to be any better? No, not really, because I play a7, and look at the little barrier I'm forming. They have to go that way, and just because I want to have fun with it, 
I'd promote to a rook for checkmate because this pawn is holding down everything and this rook is going across the eighth rank. So that's pretty much it. It's a cool puzzle. It's two puzzles in one. I think the retrograde part of this was harder for me than the actual puzzle. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to put the proof game at the end. See if you can beat my 50 moves. I'm sure you can. I was just messing around until I got one that worked. But it takes a lot of work to run the king all the way around. Make sure you're careful. Or running the king this way, but making sure you get rid of this bishop first with a knight. So lots of ways to think about it. But either way, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, all that great stuff. Helps me out tremendously. But that is it for now. Thank you so much. Bye.